Hello everyone, I'm so Mungry, and I'd like to welcome you back to Ultimate Spider-Man. In the last episode, I told you guys that we were going to look at all the costumes, but I was wrong. There is no code to unlock all the costumes. There is a code to unlock all the character models. And in order to get the costumes, you have to do all these like crazy side missions for all these tokens. So, I'm not going to worry about that if we get them. As we go along with the story, I will definitely show them off. So let's go ahead and get this started. We are going north, I believe. So let's swing on over. I think the red dot is an optional mission. We'll check this out real quick. See what happens. Oh, there's a fight going on. I'll fight. And he's down. You're welcome, Mr. Officer. You're welcome. Just your neighborhood friendly spider pig. Doing his job. And not getting paid for it. No big deal, though. We're here for the kids. So let's climb on up. And let's go towards this green dot. I think that's where we have to go to continue on with the story. And I was taking a look at all the character models in this game. There are some pretty cool characters, and I'm looking forward to seeing how they are involved in the story. This is going to be a pretty cool game, I think. I'm late for school. So we're almost at the school. Like I said before, Spider Dog ate my homework, so don't ask for it. Yo, 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 Spidey! Johnny Storm of the world-famous Fantastic Four. What on earth are you doing in Queens? What, I can't be in Queens? I have to be here, but you? Go save the world. Oh, I got a better idea. What do you say, uh, quick race around Queens? What is this? You think just because you can fly in a streak of fire, ooh, you can beat me? <laughs> I do believe that's what I'm saying. Then I've got two words for you. Bring it on. Bring it on. All right, here we go. So we got to race Johnny Storm. And it looks like we just have to get to these red orbs. Should be all right, just as long as I don't latch onto those buildings like that. And if you guys don't know anything about Johnny Storm, he is part of the Fantastic Four. And he was actually played by the same actor that plays Captain America. So Captain America got to be two superheroes in his life, which is pretty crazy. Most of us only get to be one, like me, Supermung. I do what I can to bring the smiles to all you guys every day. That is my superpower. I wanted to be able to fly, but it's not about me, it's about you guys out there. You crazy little rascals. Or as Grandpa Mungry would say, You little whippersnappers! Now go get me my prune juice! And leave a like on the video! Hey! That's why we don't let Grandpa Mungry out all the time. But I think I do a good job with my superpowers. And if you ask some of the trolls on the channel, they probably would tell you that I could be doing a better job at it. <laughs> but screw the trolls! Screw them! They live under a bridge, they're filthy and nasty. And I don't care about them. They are just spoiled little keyboard warriors, and that is all they will ever be. And you call yourself a misunderstood superhero. Anyways, just swing it along. I think he's beating us. I'm not sure. It's close. Where does this arrow want me to go? Hey, would it help if I went and got you another radioactive spider? Good one, Johnny. Good one. Holy crap, the camera angles. For some reason, it won't let me web zip on the buildings. You have to really get used to the controls, apparently. They're a lot more difficult than I thought they would be. You cannot web swing if you are on top of the building. You have to be below it. It's really weird. And it looks like he beat me. <laughs> All right, so we're going to race again. I'll cut forward until near the end. All right, guys, I'm almost to the end here. This wasn't too bad. 
It helps when you know where you're going. And I think this will be the last one. Oh yeah, this has got to be the last one, because this is a school. Oh man! You're faster than I thought. Now I own you! <laughs> yeah, whatever. You ever want to race again, look me up. I'm usually hanging out by the Baxter building. Alright, so we got easy trick races unlocked. Swing speed level 2 activated. Nice. What's this? Secret token. Collect more to help advance the story and unlock extra costumes. New chapter available. Find the beacon on the city map by pressing plus. Finishing city goals advances the story. Okay. Alright, let's take a look. I should mention that there is no difficulty option for this game. They start you out on easy, and as you progress, you can unlock medium difficulty and then hard difficulty. And I think there might be an insane difficulty. I think that's pretty lame that they start you on easy, because I prefer to at least play normal, because the fights seem really, really easy, obviously, because we're on easy. Alright, I looked around the map there. I didn't see any main missions, so we're just going to go around and do some blue dot missions here to advance the story. I think we just gotta do a couple to build up some tokens. So there should be one right here. What do we got here? Oh, it's a race. Okay. It's a trick race. Interesting. Okay, so I need 30 seconds to get the ultimate score. Alright, let's go! I think this is the fastest way to do it. I want to stay street level so I can keep my web swing going. There we go. Real nice. I don't know how this is a trick race. It seems just like a normal race. Whatever, though. I like it. No! Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Seriously? There we go. That's gonna cost me the ultimate. That's for sure. So I think this game is pretty cool so far. I wish I could just do the story though instead of having to do these little side missions. Maybe I looked at that wrong. I'll take a look when we are done here. And we are done. So I got the silver. Alright, let's just see what happens. I think we just got a token. Let's go to the green dot on the map and see what happens. What's this billboard all about? Let's check it out. Craven, the hunter. Okay. Looks like a guy from... The Old West. Alright, so we got a huge bridge here. Let's get up on it if we can. I think we have to cross over. The map was pretty big when I just looked at it a second ago. Alright, so we are on the bridge. Jameson's gonna chew my butt if I don't go to the Daily Bugle. I gotta go to the Daily Bugle. Alright, alright. Let's just go to the green dot first, so maybe that is the Daily Bugle. And like I said before, I really like how this game looks. I've always been a fan of cell shading. And we are in Manhattan. Just swinging around. Being Spider-Man. It's always a good day when you can swing. Oh yeah, this has got to be the bugle. Can I swing higher over here because the buildings are higher? Is this Times Square? It's a really cool environment. I just missed my stop. I think we're going up top. Oh yeah, there's a light up there. 
We gotta go way, way, way up. It's a good little look at Spider-Man there. And what do we got here? Look at that kid right there. <laughs> Listen to me. I'm, I'm in. I'm in Queens, and I listen. I saw the suit. You heard me. Yes, the suit. The suit. It's like the precious. What happened? I don't know how many days passed. I don't even know how I'm still alive. If you could call this alive. <laughs> Alright guys, I think this is a good place to end. I will see you guys next time with more Spider-Man.